revealing claim by Trey Gowdy. Hillary Clinton's crimes are much worse than anybody thought. Gary Maher reports. Franklin D. Roosevelt quotes, In politics, nothing happens by accident. If it happens, you can bet it was planned that way. The news today is that James Comey revealed classified information in the memos he leaked. There is nothing new here, so why has it suddenly gone mainstream? For the answer, you have to know the players. First, former FBI Director James Comey knows too much. He did his best to navigate the swamp while he was the FBI Director, but Washington's criminal elite now needs a fall guy, and his handling of the Hillary Clinton email investigation angered people on both sides of the political divide, so he's the perfect sacrificial lamb. Trey Gowdy, one of Washington's few legitimate men of integrity and a frequent critic of James Comey, recently said, quote, I've had plenty of differences with James Comey. I want to be really clear about that, but I think history is going to be much kinder to Comey over his July press conference in which he declined to prosecute Hillary than the Democrats were when he had it. I think he had access to information that because he's a stand-up guy who's not going to disseminate classified information, well, he was wrong there, he did disseminate it, although God knows everyone else is, he's not going to release it even if it casts him in a negative light, end quote. Trey Gowdy is talking about something we reported almost two months ago. After working the case for over a year, James Comey realized that damn near the entire government was involved. There was one agent who had intimate knowledge of the case, characterizing Comey's dilemma this way, quote, There is enough for her and the entire government to be brought down. People do not realize how enormous this whole situation actually is. The problem is with the Clinton Foundation, as I mentioned, which you should just imagine as a massive spiderweb of connections and money laundering implications, hundreds of high-level people implicated. This case would explode into a million other cases if fully brought to light, and then we would be one agency competing against the entire government and a horde of other interests. It is a very tense and uncomfortable position, end quote. So Comey chose to avoid a massive shitstorm, as the agent characterized it, that would have resulted from exploding the entire global globalist power structure. That is why Comey allowed Hillary and everyone close to her to scrub and then destroy their personal computers and devices rather than conduct a proper investigation in accordance with standard FBI collection of evidence procedures. The only thing that stood in the way of Comey succeeding in protecting the Clinton's criminal syndicate was the New York Police Department discovery of Anthony Weiner's laptop that had almost all of the evidence that James Comey has sought to eviscerate. Well, that was brought to light. I guess it was not to be. It had to be brought to light. While it's true that Comey is a dirty cop, he should not be forgiven for turning his back on his responsibility to ferret our corruption wherever he found it, that is not the reason he is now the target of Washington's swamp. Quite the opposite is the reason, in fact. Clinton co-conspirators are growing more and more desperate to stop President Trump from fulfilling his campaign promise to drain the swamp, and James Comey, who knows where all of the skeletons are hidden, must be discredited prior to cutting a deal to tell Trump's investigators what they want to know in order to save his own bacon. Whatever we suspected about the Clintons' criminal actions, Trey Gowdy just told us it's a whole lot worse than we've ever imagined. So hold on to your hats, folks. It's going to be an eventful ride. More to come in the few days. USA Politics has this article. I'll leave a link below for you for this.